Hi, welcome to Tea Vlog TV. Is it showing me okay? My name is Tammy. Also known, well, Tamara, also known as Tammy. I'm coming to you today. I'm not going to do a move on. I'm coming to you today just to talk. Um, see what I can talk about. How many of you have seen the movie as? I had seen it the other day. Um, I had seen it the other day, the movie Us, and I'm just going to give you my take on it. And for the ones that haven't seen it yet, this might be a bit of a spoiler, but if you, if you feel free to watch anyway, so they can give you an idea of what it's about. Well, I, to me the movie wasn't that good. It was um, it was it just wasn't that good. It wasn't better than Get Out to Me by Jordan Peele. But um, basically the movie is about a, a girl named Adelaide, and Adelaide went to a carnival, the Santa Cruz Carnival, with her mom and dad, and that's how it started off. They had the carnival to take place in the eighties. And she wanders off, and then her mom and dad, they really didn't get along well. They seemed like they were having trip problems. But anyway, she wanders off into this fun house. In the fun house, in the fun house, she see a mirror. The mirror, she thought, was a reflection of herself. But actually, it was her doppelganger that was in the mirror. Well, anyways, she see her doppelganger, and then her doppelganger go ahead, reaches out in the mirror, and it reaches out in the mirror, and and um says chokes her for one and pulls her in. So I think the next scene, no, not the next scene. So she comes back. Her mom and dad wonder how come she had, had wasn't talking, so they take her to a psychiatrist or whatever to find out what's wrong with her. The psychiatrist tell them to go ahead and get her into something productive, like an activity, you know, dance or whatever. They get her in dance, she becomes a ballet, you know, gets into ballet. Anyway, finally, she next thing she do, she becomes a thirty, like in a, you know, an adult. And she has a family, a husband, a boy, and a girl, two kids. Her husband tells her, you know, they wanted to go. They were going on a vacation to see some friends. Her husband tells her, you know, about the beach and how the kids, it'd be fun for the kids to go on the beach and, you know, have a nice time and she was kind of apprehensive about it because she know what happened when she was a kid. Anyway, they go to the beach. The little boy Jason wanders off. Jason, he's kind of weird anyways. He always have a mask on. You know, he wears a mask sometimes when he has it on top of his head or all his face or whatever. And he wanders off and he sees a um a man standing there in front of the fun house or whatever it is at the beach looking at him and the man has the scripture Jeremiah eleven eleven on his hand. It's not saying Jeremiah eleven eleven. Anyway, come to find out the man was the same man that was there when his mom was a kid. He been. Anyway, Adelaide was frantic because she had me see wonder where Jason was because he just took off and she know what happened to her when she was a little girl. Long story short, well, they get back home, you know, they, like I said, they meet their friend, they talk with them, they enjoy themselves on the beach and whatever. They get back home, the power runs out, and when the power runs out, there's a family standing in the driveway. The driveway, it was a family 
Well, Jason said, there's a family in our driveway. So, of course, Adelaide is like, oh, no. And so, after that, family is in the driveway. Try to come in the house or whatever. They're, the, the real family is afraid. So, they trying to call the police to see, you know, they could come. But it took them 14 minutes. It was a 14 minute wait. By the time, within that time, the family came in. Come to find out it was the doppelgangers of the family, of Adelaide's family. Hmm. That so sounds sad. Right. Hmm. And Adelaide's doppelganger, who is Red, her name is Red, she's the ringleader of them all. Hmm. And then Red is... And Red's husband, Abraham, is Adelaide's husband's doppelganger, and so on and so forth. Basically, everybody that was above ground had all doppelgangers under, that lived underground. That's what the movie is actually about. So, come to find out, Red, Red, it was the only one that could talk. But when she talked, it was like someone was choking her. She'll say, Hello, my name is Red. Mm, that's well, kind of spooky. Yeah, it is. Well, anyways, come to find out, Red is actually Adelaide, the little girl that was on the beach, the real Adelaide. They switched, they switched positions in life. That's why she can only talk like that because remember the real Adelaide voice was voice box was destroyed when the doppelganger had choked her, you know, pulled her in the rear. Mm -hmm. So basically the doppelgangers try to kill the real people, but I don't want to give away too much of the story, but uh Adelaide's daughter her doppelganger was named um, Umbre, Umbre, she had a weird, crazy look on her face, like always smiling, she was real fast. Jason's doppel, you know, the son, his doppelganger was named Pluto. Pluto had a bag over his face, and he always wore that bag because he was burned halfway. His face was burned, mm -hmm. half, half his face was burned. And then there's Gabe, well, Abraham, Gabe's doppelganger, the husband's doppelganger. So... I don't want to get into, and then their friends, you know, the white people that they went to visit, they had doppelgangers too, but as soon as, soon as Red and, not Red, but Adelaide and her family escaped their doppelgangers for a little while, they go to, go to their friend's house for help, but come to find out their friends, the doppelgangers had already did something to them, so... The male doctor being the other friend answered the door and it just was, it, that's when it just off went. I, I know, so I'm trying not to spoil the whole movie, but basically uh, what I got out of this movie was that, how can I put it, the evil side or the demons in a person is what can hold a person back and try to destroy them. Remember, everybody on earth had doppelgangers that were just like them underneath the ground. And the doppelgangers were jealous because they didn't have a good life. And they wanted to, and all they had to eat was fresh rabbit for food. Mm. So that's a sign of jealousy. Yeah. And that's right. not a good sign at all. And I just thought it was just too much. It's just too much in a movie to, to really make a take out of it. But that's what I got it. That's my take on it, basically, is that the demons of the past or the demons try to pull you down and dig it, strive to be better. So I just want to know what y'all think, take on it. I'm sorry I didn't give a full review because, like I said, for the ones I did, didn't see it, I don't want it to be spoiled. You know, 
too much of a spoiler for you. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.